Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Mike KM2 Bravo, Kilo Mike 2 Bravo. And he said he saw my video uh, using my Rigol scope, uh, oscilloscope, to measure power. And I did that by looking at the peak and doing the conversions and so on. I do have a 50 ohm dummy load. Uh, make sure that that dummy load can handle the power that you're going to put into it. Uh, let me show you my dummy load. This is my dummy load. It's a Heath kit. It's called a Cantenna. It's got a very large 50 ohm resistor in there. And it is um, uh, filled with mineral oil. You can put transformer oil in there if you want, but uh, mineral oil is a lot easier to get. Home Depot or your your local pharmacy or whatever it's used uh, for a variety of things, okay? Uh, he wants to measure power in the region of 100 watts. Can you provide more detail on the cable connections between the rig and the rig all instrument? Absolutely, no problem. And the rig all can handle this. Okay, so I'm going to draw the dummy load, whatever yours looks like. It's basically, just a big 50 ohm resistor, okay? And you've got your radio. And you will come out here, and then you need a T. Okay. And then this goes to the scope, or the oscilloscope, the Regal oscilloscope which is uh, right behind me. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's right there on the, on the ground. Okay. Here's the T. This um, allows you to take a BNC connector like this from a cable and uh, connect this to your radio okay, right here you may need an adapter because that's not an SO239 and from here connect over to the dummy load which is probably an SO239 SO, um, 239 okay um, and you can get uh, the SO 239Ts, but I use this right here. Okay, so this Notice the way this is right here. That's a male that will simply connect right on the front of The scope and you've got the one cable to the dummy load the other cable to The radio make sure that you tell your scope. You're not using a 10 to 1 uh, Probe you're using a 1 to 1 probe. Okay, Otherwise, you'll be a factor of 100 off on your power uh, because you're going to square the 10 difference, okay? These are cheap, easy to get. Uh, you can order them from something like, let me see if RF Parts is still in business. Um, yes, they sure are. You can get them from rfparts.com. Okay, you can, and, and they show up at a lot of ham fests, so you can get these at a ham fest. Uh, this is a nice um, coax, uh, I'm sorry, this is a nice testing worthy cable that you can use. You can use ordinary coax and so on. But take this little device right here, your scope connectors are um, BNC like this. Connect this directly to the scope, the face of the scope and then have your wires coming out here. Get that all set up before you turn on the scope and get everything set up. Then turn on your radio last and uh, do your testing here. OK, 
okay, let's figure out how we would do it. What you get out of the oscilloscope is you can get the voltage peak to peak just by measuring it, looking at it, or the voltage peak. Sometimes it will give you the RMS voltage. What we're looking for is this. So if you have this, you divide it in two to get V peak. You take V peak and multiply it by 0 0.707 to get the RMS power, okay? Now, if we take these two equations, we can always go the power equals EI, okay? Now, um, we know that E equals IR, so we can substitute that in here. Nope, we don't. We want to substitute for I. So what we do is we're going to solve this for I. I equals, I'll put an arrow in there, I equals E over R. So going back over to here, we say this equals E times E over R equals E squared over R. That's the power. Now, the thing to note, R is 50 ohms. Okay, so you take your RMS power, square it, square the RMS power, divide it by 50, and that's your power. Okay? All right? So that tells you how to use this to determine the power output quite accurately. Uh, now you're going to want to use uh, CW mode or something which has a constant carrier mode. Um, and then you can figure out uh, what you've got. Okay? And uh, good luck with your project. Good luck with your measurement. I'm glad to see you're doing that. That's great. So, uh, there you have it. If any of you would like to help support this channel financially, you can certainly do so by going to decastler.com slash support. And if you'd like to enter the giveaway, go to decastler.com slash giveaway to find out how. And until we next meet, 73.